Hey guys, uh, now uh, let's do your assignment together. Well, it's my assignment. <laughs> I'm also creating my portfolio site with you guys this semester since I don't have one. <laughs> so um, the assignment was one, research to wireframe three site map, right? Okay, for the research part, uh, let's see what other great designers have done with their portfolio websites. Find your favorite one. Um, well, look at their styles, colors, contents, and layout. Do you like it, actually? Like, think deeply. <laughs> Can you find a website that clicks, that, um, that it triggers your heart or something, you know? Uh, but before, before that um also think um what do you do do you code do you illustrate do you design do you write do you read or do you sing or dance or rap what kind of artist are you inside what's inside you guys well if you are a coder then uh find other developers portfolio site if you are a writer then find other authors website if you dance and sing, then other, find other mus musical artists' portfolio websites. Get ideas. Okay, for me here, I am a graphic designer. I illustrate too. I publish uh, children's books. Um, so I have chosen that cute animated um, designer's website as my guide website. I'm going to copy her with my style. So you guys too. Find your favorite one and copy them. Okay, guys, well, the word copy here is that <clears throat> you're not copy and pasting their design. You're, um, you're just getting ideas from them, uh, from it. Um, it's like using a math formula, you know what I mean? <laughs> um, you are doing it in your style, for yourself. Your portfolio should, your CV or resume website, your portfolio website should look like you, smells like you. I'm, I'm just kidding. <laughs> now, um, well, as you can see, I got some ideas from two portfolio uh, sites um, now. And I'm thinking about doing my wireframe and finding um, what goes where, where goes what, and finding the approximate positioning of the elements. And well, if you are out of ideas, go to pinterest go to behance go to instagram go to portfoliobox.com okay um <laughs> your keyword to look for is designers portfolio website or artists portfolio website creative website design and so on be creative guys um think outside the box think you can do it you can do it <laughs> you just have to do it just do it, Nike. <laughs> okay. Um. Okay, the site map is um, about contents, uh, number of clickable menus. Sorry about the background noise. My son is playing, and 
Well, the sitemap is about counting the main, uh, <laughs> counting the menus, right? The number of clickable menus, main and submenus. Uh, number of pages, okay? Okay, for me here, um, uh, I've chosen to have uh, illustration, graphic design, and about me or contact is the main uh, for the main three menus. And there are also uh, sub menus. So think about yours. Um, okay, I think for um, your week two, this week's assignment is what do you do at one? What do you do? What is your, uh, what do you want to learn and do for the future in the future? Okay. Let me know, like write in full sentences and give me your CV or resume that's written in a word document. Okay. If you have um, updated, if you haven't done your uh, CV, then do it now. It's, it's your chance. <laughs> it's a chance you do it. Okay. Okay. Like a second is give me two more links to other people's portfolio size. Well, um, you can give the same ones with week one's assignment if you really liked it. Okay, just the final one. Choose two final website that you can copy their style, their um, content, their layout or something. Okay. Okay, th a third one is draw your logo as you as we all did in the first semester, right? Well, for this time, it's not for the business. It's for yourself, for you. So it can be simple. It doesn't have to be very complicated. It can be your name initials, your name, your nickname, or any symbol that symbolizes you. Sorry about the background noise. And a fourth is um, choose your one primary color and one additional color and one uh, background color. Okay, so for now, just these uh, three colors. And the fifth one is update your wireframe and site map. Okay. Now, um, let's do some of some of our week two's assignment, the logo and the color choosing um, process. For logo design, Okay, first pause the video and close your eyes and think about uh, what symbolizes you. Who are you? <laughs> okay, think and imagine yourself um, that you are showing your CV, resume, portfolio website to your future company boss, okay, HR. What do you want them to think about you when they see your logo? Logo should symbolize you. It is you, okay? Or, well, if, you, if you're designing for your own um, personal studio or something, uh, or business, then it, it should symbolize your studio or business. For me here, I al already named my studio, Studio Potions UV, three years ago. It's been like that ever since. I like it. It was inspired by Harry Potter, of course. The meaning is, um, it's like magical potions will give you magical healings to the green earth. <laughs> so for the logo, I need um, a potion pot and also letters U and B and some tech stuff. I don't know. So I, uh, I tried several sketches, get ideas from similar logo designs and you have to define your name, the title and the motto. Okay, the color part, um, 
my studio is green. I mean, my goal is green, designing green, um, eco-friendly, eco-purpose. <laughs> so the first thought, first thought was um, the color should be green. But it's too typical, not too, not too creative. Okay, every echo green, yeah, echo green. So um, I thought it was not really um, good. Okay, so the second option was Harry Potter themed, which I love. Harry Potter means oh for the styling retro or vintage style. Uh, so. So I think I'll try um, several uh, color palette for the throughout the designing process. So primary, as you can um, think, primary <laughs> primary is the main project color. Usually used for thirty percent of the website. Additional color is the pop color that pops usually for one to five percent of the website okay a background color is the um well it should be eye soothing color it should be plain it should it usually takes up to uh, 65 to 70 percent of the website it should be white or full black oh, hey, well, it doesn't matter it's up to you okay so now um i have to find the color of course, and again, Pinterest, Behance, Dribble, Instagram, and the keywords would be like a color palette, website color, uh, color theme, website theme color. Okay, those are the keywords you can search for. Okay, now uh, you can see the rest of the process video I made. Okay, and good luck. See you next week. Bye.